What's going on guys? Hype here. Um, just a really quick video. Um, I guess I'll show you what I found today. Dumpster diving really wasn't much of anything. I hit up two places. I forgot to do it this morning because I was, you know, as you guys know, uploading videos and doing this room. As you see, I have now at least more interesting stuff behind me. Um, in the kiosk and everything. So, yeah, I was, uh... I ain't sleeping like a day and a half, so I finally passed out this morning. Um, but yeah, I found the Fable 3 code, and a lot of people have been finding I had just redeemed it because I have the game, so this is garbage. Um, I did find a complete uh, pink 3DS box. has the manuals and everything inside of it. I'm, I kept it here because I'm just going to give it to that mom and pop place. I don't really collect these boxes. Um, just so I can redeem the uh, points for activating it on my Nintendo account or whatever. Um, I found a crap ton of cases in a stack of Nintendo points I have to redeem. Um, I found the premiums package they threw it out because this is from 1029 this is about like Call of Duty and what like DLC and Thief and all those games what DLC you uh, you get in with it I usually keep these things aside or I, I share it with my friends but I found a second one and uh, it had a, an email attached to the back of it and basically what it says is this was dated um 10-31-13 and it says uh, subject store informer uh, it says that I'm trying to find where I was at oh it says uh, we will contact you and your customers once this product begins shipping um, the third thing the third point on this message it says PS4 t-shirts for store employees. PS4 t-shirts will soon be arriving for your store employees. These shirts can be worn in store on launch day. Please see below for more details. The shirts will arrive via distribution by Monday, 11, 11 13 Preferred sizes will arrive for those employees hired on or before 72113 which is the last time we collected size data please note that if your district manager did not report your information during the last collection process uh, you will receive the default extra large size employees hired between 722 and 9 uh, basically September 1st will receive the default extra large size unless their district manager has subsequently provided new information. Uh, it goes on to say, anyone hired after September 1st will not receive a shirt. An Excel file titled PS4 T-shirt distribution recipient list has been posted. Um, this document details who is receiving a shirt, where it was shipped, and what size they, went, they, want, they wanted. Um, Remaining inventory on t-shirts is very limited, therefore optional sizes request will not be fulfilled. Trading sizes within your store and or nearby district is best option. And then it goes on to say PS4 lanyards and pins are also being shipped for store employees. These will arrive via distribution um, distributor prior to PS4 launch. We already know that. Um, they have expedited on replenish process. Please provide the SKUs and qu quantity missing for each SKU. Other questions should be directed to store operations attention and, and it has the lady's name. Um, so basically, I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen that, but keep an eye out in case. I doubt you'll find any, but they had the PS4 t-shirts for the employees. And it looks like extra large was like the main size that they sent out to anybody who didn't have a size and if you were hired recently at GameStop they didn't give you any promo shirt or anything and it says their inventory is limited on it so whatever you find is what you find 
as well as the PS4 pins and um, uh, lanyard. Um, next, this was a interesting part. It says console console center fall visual relay update. Initially, you were to reuse the strategy guide fixture in order to set the console center. And then it says you will not need to reuse this fixture after all. Instead, discard this fixture entirely. A corrugated console center will be provided to all stores by Monday 11-4. So that was around the time that like my spinning shelf, they, uh, they actually sent it in the email here telling them first to reuse it. And then they told them after all to destroy it and toss it out. And they got a new, I guess, shelving system for the, the um, Strat guys. So, uh, I don't know if there's anything else. I just saw that page. I thought that was interesting. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, here we go. More information. Uh, I think this might be the, the thing that um, Ronnie Hayes found. I'm not sure. Uh, it says, Strategy Guide Field Destroy. Check out your newest execution item. 1030 through 114 strat guide field destroy outdated strategy guides will no longer clutter your back room strat guide rack this will help make a make the space that is needed for the new consoles and their accessory games this is a clean sweep of your store's outdated strategy guide inventory the SKUs being removed from your store will be swept from your inventory by your inventory control team you should not process these items though Oh, you should not pro process these items through the POS. In your execution items list, you will see instructions for removing outdated strategy guides from your store. The best part, it's super easy. We have provided a list of strat guide SKUs that would, should remain in your store. Everything else gets tossed, but wait, there's more. You don't even have to worry about bringing those old guides through your pro point of sale. Your inventory control team will automatically remove them from your inventory for you Friday night. Um, so that's that goes on to tell them that uh, right there that they uh, are supposed to destroy everything and uh, just toss it. They have to, didn't have to scan it or nothing. It just automatically removed them from their systems by their con uh, ice inventory control team. And they were just, it doesn't even really say to destroy them, it just says to toss them out. So, I guess that's a manager's choice. That's why some places you find them, some you don't. Because this is from their corporate office. And it says just to toss them. It keeps using the word toss them out. It doesn't say to cut them in a certain way or make sure you destroy It just says to toss them. I didn't know guides were outdated. They had an a, a expiration date, but... Apparently everything does nowadays. Um, it says email blackout Friday 11, uh, November 1st. This Friday will be email blackout day for October. During this time, we will be doing the following, removing the ability for the SSC to email stores. Uh, that's just about there. Um, yeah, it's just about something that has to do with them contacting their corporate office. So, let me see if there's any other... No, that's it. So, yeah, I have that email there. Um, that was interesting. Um, that they even... that it's, it's like we were... I was, I was wondering, like, how they knew what to destroy and if, if they were told to and... All that, but obviously, yeah, they they are told to do that, so that's that's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know. I got another paper. It just shows the different stuff that comes with the Call of Duty game that came out. Um, found this one. This package stapled together. PlayStation Four Store Takeover. Just, uh, these are all older papers, though. 
I'm just curious to see if it, uh, I guess this is how, this is how I guess they're going to have their thing set up in the back. Because these are usually the drawers um, that hold all the games. Hmm. Sorry guys, I'm just, I should have looked over this stuff already, but I didn't. Cash wrap. Sony Microsoft. So yeah, anyways. Um, and then the last one I found, the last packet I kept was the GameStop Collector's Edition. Um, if you found this before... It's basically just uh, it shows all the collector's editions and they usually update it. Like the second sun. Only other thing I did find and I don't have it to show you right now because I put it away was a brand new like shipping tube that was never open and it was heavy. I took it out of the dumpster and I was hoping it was something cool and not some like GameStop related um, posters or signage. And what it was was the um, uh, PS4 uh, infamous Second Son uh, posters, promo posters, the double ones that uh, one side had infamous Second Son, the other side had the uh, I can't think of the name of it now, uh, the the 1886 game, whatever it, uh, for a PS4, and it had one image on both sides. Uh, I don't know how many was in there, but it was a thick rolled up stack of them so I got those now um, I was just talking to P3 yesterday and uh, or should I say early this morning and uh, he was telling me he found a bunch of them and now I found some too so that's pretty cool um, anyways yeah that's basically everything I found uh, the only thing, other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, see uh, basically um, if you guys want to uh, add me on uh, Xbox Live um, or PS3 or PlayStation Network. Um, my name is uh, on the PlayStation. My name is Psycho underscore 180. So P S Y C H O underscore 180. And uh, my name on the Xbox is Crown C R O W N space V I C space B O I Crown Vic Boy. Um, so if you guys want to add me on there, send me a friend request. I use, um, the PlayStation a lot more than the Xbox. Um, once I get the, uh, kiosk, having a TV and everything hooked up, I might be using the Xbox more, but I don't think I'll be paying for Xbox Live, so I'll, uh, be having one just the bare minimum on that. Um, yeah, so that's really about it. Just wanted to get into a little bit on that and uh, share that information with you guys um, other than that uh, if, any, if anything comes up uh, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, as always guys I'll catch you guys next time